Welcome. We'll get started in just a couple minutes. Thanks for being here. Welcome everyone. We're just going to wait a couple more minutes for SLP and then we'll get started. Welcome everyone. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, we're going to give a few more minutes. It seems like there was an issue with the link, so I just resent it. So we should have more folks joining soon. Welcome SLP, how's it going? There was some drama with the link, but I'm here. Yes, I just resent the link. It seems like there was an issue. So we should have more folks joining in just a minute. Thank you. We love technology, we love technology. Gotta love it. That's right. Okay. Thanks, Emma. Thanks for organizing. Organize it. We'll start and then people people can join as they, yeah? Is that a good idea? Since, you know, people who are here and I'm here, welcome to Watch Me Work, where the me and the title is you, which means that we talk about your work and your creative process this hour. We meet here pretty much every Monday at 5 p.m. We've been doing this show 
and since like 2009 or 2010, I lose track. We started in the lobby of the public theater live. And then when the lockdown hit, we moved on to Zoom where we did it five days a week. And now we're back to our once a week show. It's a show because what we do together is we create the action and then we create the dialogue. And the action is us working together. And the dialogue is, again, y'all talking with me about your work and your creative process. And while we do not have time for you to read from your work or show your artwork or whatever, we do have time to talk about process, which is what this is all about. Emma is joining us this week, holding it down. And Emma will tell you, if you do have a question after our work session, if you do have a question, Emma will tell you how to get in touch. Go, Emma. Yes, thanks for having me, everyone. Um, if you're on the Zoom, you can ask a question by clicking the raise your hand button, which should be at the bottom of your screen in the reactions tab. Um, and if you're having trouble with that, you can message me and I'll do my best to help you find it. Um, and if you're watching the stream on HowlRound, feel free to send us your questions via the Public Theater's Twitter or Instagram account or via Watch Me Work's Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's always fun. That's the trick. H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. All right, we're going to do 20 minutes of work together. And then we're going to start talking. So we're going to have a timer here. I'm going to start. We're going to coordinate it. One, two, eat. Okay, have fun.
All right, all right. Uh, it's that time where um, y'all can ask me some questions about your work and your creative process, and I will answer. If anybody has any questions, I'm here. Looks like we have a question from Timothy. Timothy, you should be able to unmute. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, Timothy, hey. How are you? I'm well, thank you, good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about your process when it comes to character um, in terms of do you let the people in the play emerge as you tell the story or do you deep dive into their story and find it from there or what what uh mm -hmm. how do you conjure up mm -hmm. your people mm -hmm. it's a great question what we do is we do this little jujitsu thing so you asked me how do i conjure people i want to know how you conjure people and how that's working so far is that all right to talk about i want to i want to hear from sure. you Okay. How's, how's, it going? how's it going? Uh it's going it's going kind of well. Um I, I'm actually the when I was on with you in August and I was having trouble getting started and we came up with a prompt and that has since grown into like a three act play. So yeah. um yeah, I know. I just Look wanted at you. to well done. Well, I just wanted to bow in your direction for that so it was super helpful um i often find i have like maybe a first scene but then i have to write every single detail of the character where they were born uh what their parents were like uh what happened to them in school all this other stuff and you know it's funny every time you come up with a couple of things it, it like everything you write raises two more questions. So um, so I sort of plunge in from there. Uh, the problem is sometimes you can you can lose the forest from the trees a little bit um, that you know I run up against that sometimes. Um, you know you get so like, you know, what was their life like in fourth grade that like, okay, well, they were a grown character in your play, you know it's like right let's, right, right. let's right. let's let's uh, you know, gently blow it back on course. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, so you like want to balance. You want to balance it, right? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. That's fine. Um, yeah, a bit. Um, I, I'm, I'm just honestly, um, it's, it's what I've kind of dreamed up, but I'm always on, on the thought and the lookout for other mm -hmm. ways to go about it so mm -hmm. but yeah uh, sure you can do an extensive character biography uh, um uh sounds like what you're into um and uh, the the trick is you want to do a selective biography it's like writing a a, a bio or so you know you want to do a selective biography so if you're dealing with um uh maybe your play is about a character at uh at their job right you might if you're doing an interview with them or you want to do a biography of them, you might focus more on what their work history is like than what kind of pets they like to own. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to, you. you know, um, and you're, you're doing a biography that's, that's really, again, motivated by the situation that you're finding themselves, them in, not themselves, them in, right? So uh, yeah, to, that's like, the whole. Like, yeah, 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 and that's and that's kind of that's a, a great way to do it. You you do want to know about them. You want to know as much about them as you need to, but you don't need to know everything about them to get through okay. your play. Just like you don't need to remember everything about your own life to get through the day, right? So you don't. Oh, I remember what it was like in the third grade when my teacher. Da, da, da. You don't need to know that because you're going to the grocery store. Right. Well, you, you you know, I mean, and maybe, maybe you do need to know that to go to the grocery store. And if you do, then you can mm -hmm. remember it for, for your purposes. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? 
It does. Like, and, doing and, I've, and I found like, you know, maybe 5% of what you, what you conjure up actually ends up in the script, but yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. sure. So you, so, you know, there's going to be a point where you feel like you're just asking yourself questions or doing these character biographies. And it's like, and now I'm procrastinating. <laughs> and when you feel that, you probably are, right? And then you get to a point where you're like, oh no, I need to know what happened to them in, in when they were when they at their 17th birthday party. Then you're gonna have to dig and figure that out. See? Cool. Yeah. Great though. And and congratulations on your new play. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Good job. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Timothy. Um, already, Jillian, you will be next. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Let me know if you have trouble. Okay. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, I'm doing really well uh, with writing. Uh, the issue is uh, I I kind of transitioned to a more tactile pen and paper uh, scenario, which is working for me and my creativity. Right. Great. And now I feel like, yeah, yeah, it's great. Now I feel like you need to wrangle all these papers into a digital format to be able to like share or at least kind of create like a window into what's happening for people. Uh, and I'm struggling finding the best digital organization tool. Is there anything you, any guidance there, or anything that you use in the pre writing process? to kind of keep all your research and all your shit organized. <laughs> hey, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Um yeah, you know, a computer and some and some some word documents. I mean okay. I I mean and this is again this is like our levels of what we like to do with technology. Um I say keep I mean me I like to keep it simple because if mm -hmm. I'm putting energy into something I don't want to spend, you know, yeah, uh, a week or two learning a new program that's going to make it all easy and all that, you know, uh, or they have these programs that can, oh, get this and it'll, it'll, you know, a certain program will write it for you. Oh, my goodness. What could be better than that? Um, then you'll miss the whole joy of writing it yourself or the struggle of writing it yourself. You know, there's, a, there's that wonderful AI program that, you know, write for you, which mm -hmm. people like. Or, or or don't like I don't know, um, but I say yeah. Um, you I'm guessing you have a some kind of computer thing, right? Some kind of yeah thing, yeah. Like yeah. some some document, yeah, like Word document or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And I have I have those, but I just feel like they're all over the place. And I <laughs> well, can you it, label them and put them in folders? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think I think yeah, the keep it simple stupid is probably the best advice on that one. But yeah, it's just getting my pre-writing is getting to be a little it's just it's it's a lot, which obviously oh. it should be if the work is has depth, but yeah, I'm I'm just having trouble <laughs> indexing my shit. <laughs> yeah, well, just imagine if it were I mean it's if it's actual paper, you'd want to get some folders, you know. <laughs> a little, uh, you know, maybe a, a, some a file cabinet. I'm not suggesting you do this, but a file cabinet, and put, you know, character descriptions. You know, the mm -hmm. character called Jane. Yeah, you know, everything. Jane's biography. You know, that would be one folder. And uh, Jane's mom, Sarah, her story. And then, uh, you know, I mean, you you're just gonna you're gonna organize it like you would if it were actual hard copies of stuff. Yeah, and you do that on your computer. I, I again. If you know of a program or some kind of fancy filing organizational tool, go for it. Um, I, I suggest just simplify. Use the energy you have for your work to work on your work. Mm -hmm. Not to work yeah. on a cool program or software or, or organizational device. You know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but but uh, and folders are great. You got folders on your laptop. Label them different things. Put them in different, you know, in different places on your desktop or in a one file that says whatever the title of your work is. And there you go. You have it open, and there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good question. Really good question. Thanks, Jillian. All right, we will go to Jonathan next. Hey, Jonathan. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm good. I don't I don't really have a question. I just want to say that I finished the play. Yay! Yay! 
Wow, well, that's great, man. Yeah, we have a a table rate, like a little Zoom rating. Uh, uh, just so I'm so super stoked and excited. That is fantastic. And you said last week you you got in touch with some uh, correct elders or or, or people in the yeah. community that were really exciting, and there were some surprises there. Some surprises there. Um, actually, in terms of just being able to refer me to things that you now I've been trying to do on my little Google searches and yeah. stuff online and and just opening my eyes to things that are out there that you could probably never find in a Google search. So that has been incredibly helpful. Fantastic. Well done. And any tips? I mean, you finished relatively quickly, did you not? Or is it my imagination? Well, I started back in December and then I got stuck somewhere around was it like mid January or what have you and it got like really stuck because I started getting stuck on the the question of whether or not how much I guess historically accurate I needed to concern myself with or historical accuracy that I need to concern myself with Mm -hmm. Uh, but this group is really helpful uh with kind of getting over that block Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm in a writer's group and we have to do like 10 pages Mm -hmm. every week (laughs) very good as well very good excellent well done congratulations woohoo thank you thanks for sharing Jonathan um are there any other questions right now I do see one on the live stream if there are no questions in the Zoom. Uh, the question is, have you and how have you ever used talking or dictation or other oral or physical modalities as part of your writing process? Oral or physical modalities? Mm-hmm. Or, or speaking or dictation. Like dictation, like dictation, like on our phone, we can click that little thing and you can talk instead of use your thumbs. That's my guess. I'll put the I'll put the question in the chat. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, it's whatever. I mean, some sometimes it's easier to to uh, to type stuff out, and but sometimes it's easier to talk things out if you want to talk things out into a some kind of recording device. I mean, certainly when I write music, I, I it's oral, oral. I sing it, you know, because I have to hear what it sounds like. I can't say C, D, F sharp, A. <laughs> so sure, it depends on what we're writing, though. You know, um, it works. I mean, it's, it's it's too bad. It would be great to have a conversation with the person who asked that question. But sure, I mean, the idea is to use anything, everything. You know, all are welcome. Any means necessary, you know? Use anything, use everything. Um, and if you find that, Quote, oral modalities. That's so great. Just talking it out uh, works for you. Then by all means, talk it out. Sing it out. Dance it out. You know. Um, also, if you're writing a, a dramatic work, a, a play, a, a screenplay, a teleplay, definitely try it out in your, in, you know, the relative privacy of your own home. I like to try things out. When I bring things to actors, I like to say, yeah, I tried this out in my apartment. So I know, I know, I know it works at a certain level. <laughs> they they like to hear that, that you at least tried out the, you know, the idea of the scene and the dialogue, you know. Um, and definitely try out the song if you're writing a song before you present it to your actors or your 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 musicians. Definitely try it out at home. I love it. modalities. I love that phrase. Oral modalities. Well, thank you for that. Thanks. Um, let's go to Larry. I'm going to unmute hey, you. Great. Hi, I was sitting here and I'm uh, feeling embarrassed about my question. So I thought I better ask it. Um, <laughs> Good for you. Uh, I'm just so in my own way, SLP. I, uh, last time I talked to you, um, I had told you that I have this like million years long project and you encouraged me, I think, rightly to just like, no, you're not writing anymore. You're editing, edit. 
because mm -hmm. I have all this material. Mm -hmm. And I've been slowly trying to do it, you know, in the little cracks between my other work. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to just keep going and keep going and just let the, the short periods of time add up. But I'm, I'm having such a feeling of insanity um, that I, like, I don't accept my work. Like, I just, the more I read it, the more I think about what I wish I'd written. Wow. And it's like, I don't accept what I wrote or I don't accept what kind of writer I am. And I wish I was, I just, I just keep thinking like, oh, I wanted this to be so much better. Um, and, you know, I, part of what kept me just writing in circles for years and years and years is trying to just write it better. And so I'm just having a little, a little or a lot or whatever. I'm just having trouble just like getting into acceptance with what I've put down on paper and letting it be, letting it be a shitty first draft or letting it be bad. Or um, I just, I'm spending so much of my time, uh, I just feel a lot of resistance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just thought, I hear you, man. I hear you. the white flag. <laughs> no, it, ha it, 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 hap it happens. Well, I mean, it's interesting, you know, accepting and surrender. Surrender. Yes. I give up. I give up. That's all. Yeah. That's, that's good. You, you give up. You know, it's not throwing the, 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 the manuscript on the funeral pyre and burning it. Right. But you can give up what you wanted it to be whatever that is yeah and and you're gonna and when you give up whatever you want it to be then you get to have whatever it is which is better than nothing <laughs> yes. it is and and you can do little games you can so minimize the the, the number of pages you're doing a day like how many pages total do you have oh hundreds Hundreds, hundred thousand. No, come on, uh, five hundred. It's it's um, it, it's just that you know if you remember I did like a devising phase and uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna uh -huh. write it myself phase. So right? I have versions and I'm gonna throw out everything all the other people did and just keep what's mine. And then I have the ones with everyone's stuff and it's just right. it's so, so it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> so you've got like a lot of pages, right? Yes. So. If you could work on like three pages a day, just keep it, keep the window really small. Okay. You know, keep it really small or two pages a day. That's even better. Maybe two pages a day, right? Keep yeah. the window small. And can you think of one thing, just one thing that you love about the project? Just one. Yes. What? What is it? Can you share? Do you feel comfortable? Saying yeah. That? Um, I I I feel it's it's uh, <laughs> it's ironically you know about the struggle I'm talking about, which is um, I I don't want to let go of the things that are in my way. It's like holding on to our burdens. Right. So, and right. that theme has been a running theme my whole life. So it's great. Great. <laughs> right. So so it's a. It, it talks about something that's very dear to you and very important to you. Yeah. You could say, and that's what you love about it. Great. So you can, you know, you can write that down on an index card and, you know, if you have a big clip, you know, like a binder clip, you can clip, you know, you have like maybe 500 pages or I don't know how many pages you have, clip it to the front and work on two pages a day, just two, you know, for like, I don't know, 20 minutes a day. Keep it really small. Like we're going to lower the bar really low. So you'll be churning along. It'll be happening, but you're not going to expect, you know, it's not going to be great expectations. It's going to be, what can I get done today? It's going to be 20 minutes a day. Okay. You know, 20 minutes a day. And every time, every day, before, and it can be maybe at the same time every day or a different time, whenever you can. And you're going to read that index card out loud. Okay. Uh, this is what I love about my work. I love about my work the fact that it. Blah, 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 blah. I really okay. love that about my work. And I'm going to spend 20 minutes. And here's my timer. I'm going to spend 20 minutes editing right now. Two pages. Okay. Timer goes off. You're done for the day. You're done. Pat yourself on the back. Go on to something else. <laughs> 
Now, really, keep it again. Let's keep, keep it simple. Keep it keep it chill. When there's resistance, we have to be gentle with it. You know, it's yeah. like if somebody does yoga or whatever, and you're maybe your 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 hamstrings are stiff. You know, if anybody, I don't know, y'all do that. You know, and you you hold. You know, you're you're you know doing that. Uh, pull, pull, pull. Uh, that's not good. Be gentle. Just just. Put your hands anywhere you can on your leg, you know, and just breathe into the breathe into the space. Nice and gentle. When you show up every day and do it, you'll make progress. Because you will. Okay. Yeah. So just be gentle. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah. Thanks so much. And just know we all we all go eh about our work. Yeah, it or helped just houses or our it jobs helped. or our, you know. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, hon. I didn't hear you. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say it just helped to say out loud. So thank you so much mm-hmm. for, for mm-hmm. the uh, encouragement. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. We appreciate you, ma'am. Thanks, Larry. Do folks have other questions right now? Just reflecting that Mary said, thanks for sharing your question, Larry. It's universal. Oh, thanks. Thanks for reading that out loud, Emma. Of course. Uh, Tanya, let me unmute you. Hi, I'm sort of nervous. (laughs) How are you? I'm so excited to, um, I love your, I love these. Um, Thank you for your insights. Um, Okay, so. Uh, Yeah, my question is regarding all of the different unfinished projects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, They're always competing for for my attention. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have uh, any wisdom on how to like decide to commit like a commitment (laughs) of a project and mm-hmm. I have a I have horrible time finishing things right right I hear you so okay great question first thing we can do is do this do you have a mouth you have a mouth do this put your hands here and go like this right okay you're hypnotizing yourself Oh yeah. We'd be like, you know. So so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna refrain from that, right? Oh, the words come out and they go around, and oh my god, they go right into your head. Oh my god, it goes around and around and around and around. So we're you you want we what we want to do is we want to reinforce some more 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 helpful mantras, right? Mantra is another way of saying mind vaccine or whatever you think about the vaccine or whatever. I don't really care. I'm talking about the things we say to ourselves and the way we hypnotize ourselves and we can do it differently. Okay. Mm-hmm. So just say, you know, I'm, you can maybe say I'm finding ways to finish things. Mm-hmm. And, and you are, that's true because here we are talking about it, right? I'm finding ways to finish some of my beloved projects. I'm finding ways. I am finding ways. So here's a way look that you found today. What, is the shortest project that you have. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. I can't hear Can you. you. Unmute. Yes. There um, you go. What's the shortest project? Are they all 500 page Russian novels or? No. Okay, good. Great. Okay. Um, well, I have a short story. I could probably work on the short story. That's probably the closest to being finished. Great. Okay. <laughs> See, you're finding ways to finish beloved projects. You see, I am finding ways to finish beloved Great. Okay. So mm, how many pages do you think? You just guess. Pretend you know. How many pages are we talking about writing? Oh, um, not even that. Not even two. It's really fantastic. I just need to edit it 
probably. But you, but you need to but you need to you need to get to the have you gotten to the end yet? I have an ending. I think I forgot that I have an ending. <laughs> have you oh this is great. Have you written it down? Yes. Great. So it's written down. Yes. Great. Okay. I, I, I think I forget that I do finish things. That's the other thing. <laughs> and then, and then see, you're finding ways to finish beloved project. You see? You mm -hmm. see? You see how it works? You yeah. say, ah, oh my goodness, this is great. Okay. So why don't we focus on your short story first? Okay. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it has promise. So again, like, like Larry, you're going to take it out. You're going to turn on your timer. You're going to take out your man. Oh, you're going to take out your manuscript first. Cause you want to, I want to make sure it's in front of you. You're going to turn on your timer. You're going to spend 20 minutes with it. If you have time today, that'd be great. Is it printed out already? No. Oh, I've great. Okay. Do you have a printer and some ink in the printer? I do. And great. Ink, just in case. Extra. Very good. Do you have like a, an actual physical folder that you, you can put it in? I can, uh, I, I can find one or displace some other papers and, and right. great, great. Displace some other papers. Okay. And you're going to print, you're going to push print. You're going to print it out. And you, this is your 20 minutes. You set the timer. Bitty, bitty. Okay. And now you're going to be working on your short story for 20 minutes. You're going to push print. You're going to print it out. You're going to find a folder. You're going to put it in the folder and you're going to sit there with it and just look at it. Mm. Maybe read it. Maybe start reading it. The timer goes off. Great. You mark where you were. Next day, set the timer again. Pick up reading where you left off. You're just going to revisit it. It's like a, a dear friend who loves you very much, who you adore. You haven't seen him in a long time. You got to get caught up. Right? And you just inch along. Right? And you you become more mindful about what's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> I tell my son, I said, we got, we got control of a couple of things, what goes in our mouth and what comes out of our mouth. If we can focus on those two things. So we're not cramming everything in our mouth all the time when we're anxious or confused and just shit isn't spewing out of our mouth. That is harmful to the, to, you know, your favorite person, you, right. Okay. So you're going to be more mindful about that, right? Okay. And you work on that work. on Just inch along 20 minutes a day. Don't get grand with it. Don't think, oh, today I'm going to work an hour. Because I... keep it simple. Keep it modest. Inch along and be successful. And then before you know it, you're going to have a finished product, right, in the W column. Woohoo! You're going to have a win. Okay. And then we're going to go and, and we'll talk again and we'll re, and we'll do a similar activity with another project. May, might be slightly different activity based on what the project is. Okay. Got it. That's great. Um, Thank you. See, you're finding ways to finish beloved projects. Isn't that great? Love it. Yay. My first oh, question. Thanks. <laughs> see how well you did. Congratulations. Well done. Good job. All thanks, right. Tanya. Oh my goodness. We're, we're at just about five minutes. Okay. The so folks have one or two last questions. Uh -huh. All right, Mona, go for it. Hey, Mona. Hello. Hi. Hi. I feel really nervous, but anyway, here we are. Um, I don't know if my question is really more at this, it's like this question of this uh, hypnosis here of, of this. But um, because as I was preparing to just ask, I was just like flooded with like everything. Like, I'm not a writer. I don't even know. Hopefully they allow me to be here. <laughs> I hope my question doesn't make them say, why are you here? You're not a professional mm -hmm. writer. But the reason I'm here is because I have been approached to write, um, to write something oh. that I had been thinking about for just like in the back of my mind for a decade. Like maybe I would write something someday and then a publisher and editor contacted me like would you be interested in a book project so wow congratulations so well thank you <laughs> um and what i'm experiencing is um because i you know i don't write for a living or whatever if if i'm just sitting and thinking like oh i need to send a newsletter 
I'll just send this quick little thing. I found, mm -hmm. I find myself, you know, then crouched in front of my computer and then it's like four hours later and I've written a whole long thing and I'm pretty happy with what I wrote, but it wasn't like I went in thinking I'm writing something. I just think I have to say happy holidays, but then it turns into a thing. But when mm -hmm. I start to say, now Mona, start somehow, you're going to start working on this project, it's right. really like frozen. It's really, and there, you know, it, it's, it's really like it becomes a thing. Mm -hmm. And I do feel a sense like it's in me, which is why I said to this person, like, yeah, I mean, I did say it not right now, but I did kind of have it there as an opening and I feel inspired and I thought, oh, this would actually give me like a dead, like it would give me a structure to make it happen and not just die being like, oh, one day I was going to do that project, but you know, I'm busy. But I am experiencing like, oh, like, how do I have to pretend like I'm doing something else rather than being like I'm sitting down to write? So I think so that's kind of I didn't know if you had any um, guidance on that mm -hmm. at all. You have to, you have to pretend. Mm -hmm. So, so let me recap. So um, when you sit down to write things like a newsletter or something, you just write it out and it's, it's longer than it needs to be. And you're very pleased with it. Exactly. I don't go in thinking, oh, I'm going to bring this poem. I'm going to do that. It's sort of like, oh, I have to promote this event. It's next week. Let me just quickly write something. And then, I, and then I'm like, oh, that was pretty good. Actually, you wrote more and something else came out. And when you're writing in the service of other things promoting mm -hmm. i'm just trying to get to the mm -hmm. yeah okay. when i'm not thinking oh now i'm gonna sit to try to see what i'm gonna write for this book oh so when you're not thinking right okay right well <laughs> kind of or there it is, there it is. so self-conscious so, i guess so, so stop oh, shit. I, oh am i back Yes, I'm back. Now you're back. Yep. So yeah, stop, stop, stop thinking. It doesn't thinking doesn't you see how how thinking does not like that. Thinking wants us to be thinking all the time. That's why it says stop, don't tell her that. All right. So again, set your timer. You got a timer that's not your phone. Do you have a timer that's not your phone? Yeah. Good. Set your timer for 20 minutes and write as on your computer. Because I think we can write faster if we're writing with two hands. Are you an okay typist? Are you okay? You're like with your computer. Yeah. Type as fast as you can. Type whatever the oh w, type WTF. Type whatever the fuck. Excuse my language. Whatever the fuck about your book. Like blah 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 blah. blah right. Mm -hmm. Imagine you were just you were just t talking about it. Or you could as the person uh, who uh, was asking that question. Do we ever use? What is it called? Oral modalities. Modalities. Just start talking about it. You know, do you go for walks during the day? Do you do you have a like a yoga practice or a running practice or a Pilates practice? Do you have anything like that that you do? Yeah, yeah. A running practice or I don't know. I'm just trying to get because yeah. you could also if you go for a walk during the day. Yeah. You could turn on your you know this phone yeah. and you could press the voice memo and you could just talk about it. Oh, yeah. you know, right, right, just right. start, just, just, yeah. Um, the thinking, the think, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I, I, yeah, as you were saying that, I did just get a have an idea. There you go. Um, because I think that even when I, if I think, which I've tried to be like, oh, just talk about it, but once I'm like, it's the book, it becomes a bit. But if it's just like someone asks me a question, this is the topic, it lights me up. Of course, I just launch into it. Exactly. So I think maybe uh, recording some conversation. Recording some conversation, also a timer and just writing whatever. Yeah. Just writing whatever, because what I think uh, it sounds like your thinking is actually like gatekeeping. It's like a bouncer at a club, you know? You gotta let the bouncer go home. Everybody's welcome in the club. Yeah. Everybody. Come on in, we're having a party. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? You're, you're, it sounds like you're doing this editing while you're writing. And in my experience, and the police are coming to get you. See the thinking police are coming to get you. Try it with a timer. Try going for a walk and 
and recording some stuff. Try just sitting with a friend and recording some stuff, you know, talking it out. And then constantly type up everything. You know, you want a record of everything. You don't want just some random notes on your on your phone. You know, you want to type it up. You want to have documents. You want to have pieces of paper or, you know, on your phone or on your uh, computer that we're going to start to reread and look at and think, oh, you wonder, oh, what's there? What's there? You know? Yes, yes, yes. Great question. That's helpful. I really appreciate it. Good question. Six o'clock. 602. It is 602. Um, Thanks, everyone, for being here. Just as a reminder, next week is a holiday, so we will be off. And then we'll reconvene the following week. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Great questions this week, as always. So lots of love. Uh, Have a good, have a good Valentine's Day. (laughs) Eat chocolate or not, but have a good, hug yourself at least. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you.